Hey YouTube, John Jack here, and uh, Senorita Mikita, that's her. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I uh, made a time lapse video today of how I load up my truck. It's pretty neat. I like time lapses. I think they're pretty cool. So what I wanted to do was give you a, a really quick tour of the truck and what I put in it. Um, I've seen some videos of guys that have their um, lawn care trailers, carpentry trailers, uh, vinyl siding, or seamless gutter trailers, whatever. There's all kinds of trailers out there. Um, issue is, for some of the people like me, um, I'm in the process of getting a trailer coming this way. Uh, probably going to put the order in hopefully this month yet, um, if not sometime in July, but whatever. Um, but uh, not everyone has the luxury of a trailer right away, and, you know, a trailer costs a lot of money, and you should probably use what you got and get out there and figure things out before uh, you go and just drop a bunch of money into a trailer. Um, just my personal opinion, I would rather make some money up front and then use some of that money to buy a trailer than go into debt, starting a new business, buying a trailer and a bunch of tools. Um, and then, you know, finding out it doesn't work and have this big investment in the loan payment and all kinds of other stuff. So this is just going to be a quick video of, um, me loading up the truck. I was working on cleaning the garage today, which is actually clean and I'm really excited that I'll be able to put my, uh, truck in here tonight. So that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, just a quick video showing uh, how I load the truck and what's in it. So I'll see you on the flip side after the time lapse and we'll go through what's in the truck. Stay tuned. All right, she's loaded up. Here's the tour. So, starting over at this side, I got screws. I have number eight uh, hardware screws uh, for doing drawer knobs, door pulls, that kind of stuff. Um, door knobs and drawer pulls. Jeez, that was a tongue twister. Um, number eights, one inch, an inch and three quarter. Regular number three cabinet screws, two inch exterior screws, drywall screws. That's that. Um, this is my garbage bag. Um, this also holds holds tow receivers. Um, I have the one of them out right now. I'm changing the ball over. It had a goofy lock ball on it. The other one's in the truck, so that's why they're not in there. And then I keep uh, a gallon of Service Plus with me for the winter time. I can come out now because it's summer, but it's still there. Um, we'll start on the bottom, I guess. So I have trim guns. Uh, 23 pinner, 18 stapler, 18 brad, 16 brad, 15 angled brad. Um, so that's that. Underneath this I have storage, nail storage. There's four different lengths of nails in each one. So that would be the trim guns. Uh, moving backwards behind the trim. Trim guns I have uh, DeWalt 20 volt drills, drill index, and drill bits all in there. Uh, in the bag, ready to roll. Uh, behind that in the black case is a jigsaw, DeWalt jigsaw, nothing fancy, gets the job done. Uh, red and black case, M12 fuels, the half inch drill and impact. Uh, they work like a charm for doing little stuff. Um, they're just nice little drills, you know. Uh, and the M12 line, phew, some of the stuff they have in there is just great. Uh, pass load, impulse, framer next to that. And behind it, I have the Boss Ditch 6-gallon air compressor. Um, up top, I have 150 feet worth of extension cord and 150 feet worth of um, air hose, as, as well as a three-way splitter. Um, up on top, if you can kind of see that, 
I have an array of um, squares, carpenter squares, whatever you want to call them. I have a little 12 inch, a two foot, and then I have a four inch or a four foot um, straight edge up there as well. Um, usually in the back, um, in between the speakers there, in the window, I keep two sets of sawhorses, one for my miter stand and one just to have on site. Uh, so those are usually up there right now. They're on site with a bunch of trim on them. A uh, handful of clamps I also hang up there. Some of those are out and about right now, but you can see two of them on the left-hand side. Um, forward and down, I have the Bosch 4100 table saw. Another one of those tools that's really hard to replace when you need it. Um, Makita high point underneath it. It's just the easiest place to get it out of the way. Um, uh, it's another tool though, ripping down 2x4s and stuff, it's really nice to have. Um, this little M12 vacuum, like I was saying, the M12 line is freaking awesome. Uh, people really like it when you like put a whole bunch of drawer pulls on and doorknobs and stuff in their kitchen. And you run that little thing around and you suck up all the drill bit shavings. So they just, it shows a different level of professionalism. Um, Makita 4 bar 10 inch saw. 10 inch miter saw, it's awesome, I love it. I like a Capex, but this is a really, really, really good alternative um, for a lot less money. Uh, next to that, this big uh, wooden thing is my miter stand. Um, opens up to 16 feet, the saw sets in between it. There's six feet of table that is equal to this table. And then um, five feet on each side is open air, but uh, these actually slide in and out on 2x4s and makes it really easy to adjust for doing the bigger trim and stuff like that. Um, I have some more hooks over on this side. Uh, usually I end up hanging tool belts, uh, uh, electrician's belt or my framer belt or trimmer belt, whatever. Hang those up there when I bring them with. Uh, when I don't, they hang up in the garage. So right now it's empty, but enough about that. Uh, in here I have um, storage for little stuff so I usually keep uh, hammers, pry bars, angle rulers, protractors, I don't know, all kinds of little stuff in there. Um, tape measures, string lines, extra chalk. Uh, it gets all the little stuff out of this area and into there which is nice. Um, the battery chargers uh, up top here, and then I have my Stabilo levels, uh, 16, 24, 32, 48, 59, 78. I don't have room for a plate level because it's 7 to 12 feet, and I have 6 foot of bed. Actually, the 78 foot, or the 78 inch level is uh, very tight. It uh, goes right up to the front of the bed and just barely mi misses the tailgate. Um, what else? I've got paper towel holder, uh, fluorescent light, uh, the switch, um, and the uh, outlet there for the battery chargers. Those all run off of that shore power line, which is currently plugged into the wall. So that's kind of how that works. And then uh, people ask all the time, this is actually its own head unit. Um, so I got this out of a car that I had junked. Um, let's see not too loud but it's uh oof i finger death punch in here so yeah that's in there uh there's four speakers and uh a sub in there too so it uh makes working really nice sometimes but uh yeah that's in there too so that was just a little added bonus um otherwise that is the truck and everything in it and then I have the ladder rack as well on top. It's really hard to see because it's black and it's getting to be nighttime. But I also have the ladder rack. Um, I usually keep that little yellow ladder up there with me. But uh, that just it's nice. I just ordered uh, two Werner 300-pound tripod ladders, a 4-footer and a 6-footer. So those will probably come with me to most kitchen installs and trim and stuff. Uh, just good ladders and the tripods let you get in a little closer. The ergonomics working on them is just a little easier on your back. So, But anyway, that is the truck. And uh hope you guys enjoy. Uh, take some ideas from it. Do whatever you want to do. Um, basically, 
I had a guy ask me how I came up with all this, and I just looked at him and said, we're both carpenters, aren't we? We should be able to build this kind of stuff and, and stay organized. So um, really simple, you know, it's a 2 by 6 rack on top. I just built it right in the bed so it could be nice and tight to everything and uh, scrap plywood from stuff to do the rest of it. Um, I mean, it's simple, stupid, straightforward. So uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know, somebody gets a few ideas out of it and until you can get into a trailer, there's, there's ways around it. So enjoy. Thanks for watching.